Morning to you, YouTube. Redneck Professor here. Got us a bit of an overcast day, but uh, I expect I'll be able to get this video in before the rain starts. That old sweet summer rain likes a little heat on it before it gets gets to coming down. So that likely won't start until this afternoon. But anyway, got me a little package here. A package from uh, pipesandscars.com. And uh, it coming to mail on uh, Monday afternoon. I've just been kind of sitting on it until I could do a proper yabo. Because I think y'all might, uh, might appreciate the contents of this particular package. So, got my trusty old knife. Now look at this. This ain't just a pocket knife. That's a Klein Tools pocket knife. You ask any electrician, they'll tell you. Klein Tools are the best tool. So without further ado, open up this here package. Show y'all what's inside. First thing we got, bubble wrap. Awesome. All right. So the first thing I got in this package here, put the matches. First item is a tin of University Flake. It's absolutely my favorite tobacco in the world. Next item I got here is um, a ten university flake, and I ordered this because I remember back in I want to say late '96, maybe early '97, I smoked this stuff for the first time, and uh, I called Brother Boontar. He was living down in uh, I want to say Newport, Newport Ritchie, Florida. I was living over in Tampa, and uh, told him I found this, this this new tobacco blend I really liked. It was called University Flake, and uh, you know I encouraged him to try some. Well, he he went to his local tobacconist down there in Newport Ritchie and got some. And when he got home, he opened up the package. He didn't know what to do with it. He'd never never seen a flake cut tobacco before. And, so he called me up and asked me how to smoke it, and I said, well, you know, it's you got to rub it out first, you know. He tried a couple more times, and I don't remember rightly, but it seemed like he went back to the tobacconist down there and had a conversation that started out with the with with uh, Boontar saying the phrase, "Listen here, you flake," and uh, I don't rightly remember how the story ended, but I don't think the tobacconist uh, understood Boontar was kind of just being Boontar joking around with him. But anyway, I'm looking forward to getting into that university flake. Just get, it brings back such good memories, you know. Sorry, I got to do a little housekeeping. I hope y'all can hear the neighbors over there mowing their yard kind of loud but uh anyway next little item in my little package here is attending university flake and I ordered it because um, I used to live in Ireland years ago actually in Northern Ireland outside of Belfast and uh it seemed like every little mom and pop shop, every convenience store, every news agent, they all carried University Flake. I think it was because at the time that the, the tins that it came in were a little bit, a little bit narrower, 
about the size of a cigarette pack so they could keep them stocked on the shelves pretty easily but uh they sold the uh, university flake like that and they sold air and more flake like that but uh to get other peterson tobaccos uh the round tin tobaccos you actually had to go to a tobacco shop or someplace like that the flake cuts were the only only one they sold like that so when i got back into smoking my pipes of course i went back to what i knew which was peterson university flake and airmore flake and uh Airmore Flake's no longer made by John Murray and Sons in Belfast. Uh, it's made by somebody else now. The Finns or the Swedes or somebody got a hold of it. And it just doesn't, it's not the same to me. I don't know why. It may be psychological. It just doesn't have the same flavor, the same feel to it. Um, but University Flake is still made by Peterson of Dublin. And, uh, and I really like it. So I went ahead and ordered this tin here. I can't wait to open it up and smoke it. This brings back so many fond memories. Um, next item I have is a tin of University Flake. And uh, the reason I got this is because um, I don't know if y'all have ever watched any, any videos by the Redneck Professor, but... Uh, that guy just goes on and on endlessly about how much he likes University Flake, and uh, and so I just I just want to try it just to see if it's if it really lives up to all the hype, you know. I figure you know, if it's good enough for that that good-hearted Southern gentleman, then maybe it's worth a try. Certainly hope it'll live up to the expectations that uh, that I have, you know, based on the, the Redneck Professor's recommendations. If it doesn't, though, I think I'm going to sit down with the uh, old redneck and just say, look here, man, to hell with you. Anyway, the fifth and final item in my little package is um, this tin of University Flake. And uh, the reason I ordered it is because um, if you order five or more, you get a discount. So um, I went ahead and ordered it. So... Um, that's my package. It's all empty now. And uh, there's my Yabo. And um, hope y'all enjoyed it. And I guess I won't take up any more of your time other than to say, uh, you know, if you don't like University Flake, well, then the hell with you.